Today I'll be showing you this extremely accurate support and resistance indicator that allows you to trade breakouts. With this indicator you will be able to precisely identify breakouts to know exactly when you should enter into the position. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel so that we can keep making these free videos. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's start. Let's first head over to Trading View. After that, let's add the indicator to the chart. Navigate to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Bjorgum Key Levels Indicator. Select the indicator made by Bjorgum and add it to the chart. Before we can start using the indicator we will first need to understand how it works. The indicator aims to show the following three of the most significant points in price action, breakouts, traps or false breakouts and backcheck. If you are able to properly identify these three points, then these points alone can be some of the most significant points of movement in the price history of an asset. This means that with just these three points you can accurately predict what the price of an asset does and what moves you can expect. So let's take a look at entries that can be made with this indicator. Let's first take a look at a buy position. The line should be looked at as support and resistance levels. So in this case we see that the price has closed above the line. This means that the price has broken through a resistance point so we will enter into a buy position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. For a sell position, the rules will be a bit different. We can see here that the price has closed below the two lines. This means that the price has broken below a support point indicating that the price will fall further. Now that we know this, we will enter into a sell position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing high. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. The indicator is very powerful, however by using the indicator on its own, there are still quite a few false signals that will be given. So let's add another indicator to the chart to make a very profitable strategy. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Rolling VWAP Indicator. Select the indicator made by TradingView and add it to the chart. That was the only indicator that we will be adding. Now let's change the settings of the indicator. Head over to the Indicator Settings and click on the Style tab. We will be changing the color of the Rolling VWAP line to make it more visible. Make sure you also change the thickness of the line. You can now close the Settings tab. We will be using the VWAP indicator as a trend direction indicator. This means that with this indicator, we can filter out signals that go against the bigger trend. As you can see here, the price is trading above the VWAP line. This means that we will be ignoring the short signals that are provided by the key levels indicator. As you can see by using the indicator we can filter out many losing trades. However, we are still missing a final confirmation indicator to make sure that the strategy will be as accurate as possible. So let's add this final indicator to the chart to complete this strategy. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Super Trend Oscillator Indicator. Select the indicator made by Lux Algo and add it to the chart. After that head over to the Indicator Settings and navigate to the Style tab. We will be removing this plot and the lines and labels since we won't be needing them for the strategy. We will also be changing the color and thickness of the signal line to make it more visible. Now that we have done that the strategy is now complete. Let's first take a look at when to enter into a buy position. But before that, if you are looking for a secure and reliable broker that has been operating since 2007 and has raw spreads from zero pips, extremely low fees, no hidden markups, and free deposits and withdrawals, then check out AAFX the best broker to trade forex, indices, commodities, stocks, and cryptocurrencies. Unlike some brokers, they allow all trading strategies. Sign up via the link in the description of the video and get access to all of the previously mentioned features. First, we will need for the price to be trading above the VWAP. This indicates that we are currently in an uptrend. 
Secondly, we will need to take a look at the key levels indicator. We will need to make sure that the price has broken above the resistance line. This indicates that the market might be entering into a bullish trend. The last confirmation that we will need is from the super trend oscillator. The bar on the super trend oscillator will need to be green and above the blue signal line. All of the conditions have been met, so we will enter into a buy position. We will be putting the stop loss at one of the levels or at the recent swing low. You can choose which one is best based on the current volatility of the market. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's take a look at how the trade will play out. Now let's take a look at an entry that we shouldn't take. As you can see here, the price is trading above the VWAP indicating that we are in an uptrend. If we take a look at the super trend oscillator, we can also see that the bar is green and above the blue line. However, if we take a look at the price, we can see that the price hasn't closed above the key level yet. This means that we will not enter into the position. We will only enter into the position when the price closes above the key level. Now let's take a look at when to enter into a sell position. First, we will need for the price to be trading below the rolling VWAP line. This indicates that we are currently in a downtrend. Secondly, we will need to take a look at the key levels indicator. We will need to make sure that the price has broken below the support line. This indicates that the market might be entering into a bearish trend because the support in the market has been broken through. This means that there is a high chance that the price will fall down further. The last confirmation that we will need is from the super trend oscillator. The bar on the super trend oscillator will need to be red and below the blue signal line. All of the conditions have been met, so we will enter into a sell position. We will be putting the stop loss at one of the levels or at the recent swing high. You can choose which one is best based on the current volatility of the market. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's take a look at how the trade will play out. As you can see the trade was very profitable. We can see here that the price has broken through the support. We know this because the price has closed below the key levels line. We also see that the super trend oscillator bar is red. More importantly we can also see here that the bar is below the blue signal line. However, we will not enter into the position because the rolling VWAP line is below the price. This indicates that we are currently in an uptrend. Therefore, we won't enter into the position. With this indicator, you can easily detect when the price is breaking through a support or resistance zone. With the strategy we showed you can also know exactly at which point in the market there is the best opportunity for entering into a position. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help us keep creating these free videos. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.